and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an early fall home tour and it will be full of early fall decorating ideas as well as farmhouse fall decor and DIYs to give you some inspiration to transition your home from late summer into early fall. Okay, so we are going to start this tour from when you first walk in my house this is the room right off to the side and i have not done too much in here um, that chalkboard fell the other day still have to put that back up but i did add these two really cute pillows that i will link down below i will have everything linked down below that i can find but i love these little pom-poms on here and they're kind of just like a tan and white checkered look and then I've had this Let's Stay Cozy pillow, but it definitely works for early fall as well. I may end up moving those to our bedroom because I am going to do a fall-inspired bedroom decorating video. So I originally ordered those pillows for that space, so we will see. You know I'm always changing things around. Also, I wanted to show you guys this really cute little, um, I don't even know what this is called, like a koozie, I guess, that's hand stitched by one of my friends and it fits this Starbucks cup so well. I think this is the ivory color and it's adjustable so it can fit all kinds of cups. She even has this really cool little cardboard piece at the bottom. So I just love this for fall. I'm definitely gonna be using it all the time. I will link her um, page down below if you are interested. I just cannot get enough of these. They're so cute. Okay, and moving right along. So this is the front door where we started when you walk in. And then this is my newly made over entryway. I am still loving it. And like I said for the video, I added this real firewood here just to kind of start incorporating some cozy vibes for early fall. So I'm still really enjoying that. They, again, may get moved as the seasons go on, maybe into the fireplace, I'm not exactly sure. But this DIY tree, you guys, so affordable and it turned out so awesome. I'm really loving it. And um, this basket, this is just real life. We have shoes, leashes, things like that in there. This rug is from Hobby Lobby, and so are these two crates. And what I plan on doing with those is adding some like pumpkins, maybe some antlers, just other touches of like fall and seasonal decor. Um, and then I also just put this tray that I found from Hobby Lobby here with a couple antlers and these little moss balls and then on this peg rail here I went ahead and just added one of these vine wreaths I think those are so perfect to decorate with for early fall and then I also used this hat it's very trendy right now a lot of people are wearing them but it also kind of gives me just like a fall kind of country vibe so I hung that there as well and yeah, I'm excited to switch out this sign and I'll be adding more seasonal decor to the shelf area here. And I still need to add actual candles, I just realized, to both of those lanterns. And those lanterns are from Kirkland's. I believe they still have those. I got them recently. The sign up there, May Your Journey Always Lead You Home, is from Hobby Lobby. So let's walk into the rest of the house. Over here is the bathroom and I'm only pointing that out because I think this sign is so cute and a really um, fun thing that anyone can add to their own house. One thing that I've really enjoyed is just painting the interior doors of our house and it's something that I think gets overlooked a bit. It's not something that a lot of people do or think of but as you can see, it adds a ton of character to a space, so I just wanted to point that out before we move on to the main part of my house and more early fall. So this area is one that I decorated a while ago now, and I'm still just loving this sign. I get so many questions, so I will link the shop that I purchased it from. It's like a green chalkboard style with a wood frame. I love it. I love the quote and just the font. It's so pretty. 
and then this white um, I don't know what you'd call it I'm just gonna call it a table is a vintage fine and the top of it was actually a wagon bench and they just kind of added it to the shiplap kind of barn looking um, table so I have been really loving just mixing up my decor and kind of challenging my creativity by adding a new like anchor piece over here so what I did to kind of start incorporating early fall in this space was I wanted to add different elements to make our house feel cozy so I added textures with the wood crate and then inside of it I added this really pretty throw blanket and I love how I have it folded in here. It's kind of rolled and then undone a bit and kind of draped over the outside. That blanket is from Threshold at Target and then the stool that I have the farmhouse um, crate on is from Hobby Lobby and the crate was a gift but I think it was from TJ Maxx and then this basket just gives a lot of texture and kind of breaks up the white. I love decorating with white and neutrals. You will definitely see a lot of that here. And then I just added some more throw pillows. And what the blankets and throws do is just create more of a cozy vibe. So that's a perfect way to start incorporating that cozy early fall feeling. And then I found these three um, like metal buckets. They're kind of like a golden copper material um, from Hobby Lobby. They were actually part of the spring line, so I got them all when they went on sale. And I love how adding those to this space is just warming everything up, incorporating copper and golds and things like that is a perfect way to start decorating for early fall. And this year especially, copper is so popular, so it's just a perfect way to start and kind of begin adding some cozy fall touches. I also get a ton of questions on these topiary type little plants. They're just very unique and cute, so I will have those linked down below. Um, they're definitely one of my favorite pieces. They're just something you can add anywhere in your home and it just kind of gives an interesting look. So then let's go into the kitchen and this is what it looks like. If you can tell, I have added a lot of copper to this space and I've expanded upon my apple theme. If you haven't seen my first early fall decorating video and in that video, I showed you how I made this DIY apple wreath and other things like that. So I will have it linked down below if you wanna check it out. But this area pretty much is the same um, from when I decorated with that video. The scale is from Amazon, the ladder from Kirkland's. I will have them linked down below. The apple cider sign was a tractor supply find. And then I just have a wooden crate in here where I added some hydrangeas and I added some copper mugs, some of my favorite white hobnail ones. And then this uh, wreath, like I said, was a DIY. This tea towel was from Hobby Lobby. So let me show you what new items I have going on in here. So this is a vignette that I set up for early fall and I am just loving it so much. I usually keep this wood riser over here and it's just a really good anchor for this space. I always kind of use it to put either like a seasonal tree or some sort of seasonal vignette in this area by the sink. So what I did was I put this white pitcher on here and then I found this really pretty set of dried florals from Michaels and I put that in there, added some more apples. These are real but I'm also using faux apples as well. I used a vintage scale with a copper bowl, added more apples and then this candle is the harvest scent from the hearth and hand collection at target it smells so good and i've really been enjoying that so that's the first thing and then i feel like all of these reds and coppers are really making my amber um, soap 
hand dispenser really pop. So it really works out well that those two are trending together this year. They're also really good to incorporate in early fall like I've done here. And then I also pulled out my handy dandy tiered tray. I have taken this off for a few months um, just because I sometimes just get bored of things and like to rotate them around, but I definitely missed it, so it's back. And unfortunately, I can't list this exact tiered tray because I found it at Home Goods like, I don't know, maybe two years ago now. But there is one that I will link down below that I've seen that looks almost identical to it. And again, I'm just playing up the apple, the copper. I found this beautiful rolling pin at Kirkland's. I really love that. And then I just put over here, if you can see, some, um, what is that? Some cinnamon sticks in a clear jar. So yeah, it's simple, but it also just kind of picks up on all of the colors and it just kind of flows well, ties everything together. So yeah, that is everything that I have going on on my island and on this wall. So let's move into the kitchen itself now. And then on my peg rail here, the only thing I added is this vintage lantern that really gives me major like fall and Christmas vibes. So when we walk into the kitchen, we'll start over here. I always am switching out the uh, little bowls that rest under here. This is not one that's made for the KitchenAid, so it's not a bowl that I use with it, but it's just here for display. And this is a copper bowl that I found at Ross and knowing me I probably still have the tag on it kind of um, I wish it said how much it was I think it was like $5.99 or $6.99 so I picked up this bowl last year from Ross as well as some others it's always very hit or miss but it's always nice to go and check it out over here I found this um, really cool like whiskey decanter this was a vintage find and I think it looks cool next to this crock which is not actual vintage it's from tractor supply with their summer line this is a cool vintage find that I got off of Facebook marketplace I love all the detail I was able to get it for so cheap so that's another great place to look for copper items is Facebook marketplace and then I also with that uh, ladle I got this little bowl and then or pot I should say this tea kettle and I also got this strainer spoon thing as well and what I wanted to do is hang some items up above my stove that were copper so I went ahead and did that um, this is wood so that kind of goes with it and ties that in also i used another one of those like vine wreaths i just thought it kind of gave an interesting um, look and everything kind of went well and flowed well above my stove and then i wasn't sure where i was going to display this tea kettle it didn't look right on my stove top so i thought i would set it here and it again didn't look right when i put it right just on like the counterpart, but if you just use some other pottery, it really helps ground it and make it look like it's supposed to be there and not just randomly placed. So that's another little trick that I like to do. And then I just put some cutting boards behind it to help make it stand out. So that is what is new in the kitchen. I also put that little hammered pitcher up here. I like to add some decor on top of my fridge. So there was a silver one in there before, so I just wanted to add some more copper elements in here. So I have really been just loving how the copper and the apples and the browns and just kind of more rustic elements that I've added in here, it's definitely giving me the cozy fall vibe, but without adding the pumpkins quite yet. And now we'll move on to my dining room area and the shelves. Usually I have a very detailed um, centerpiece going on here for my table, but I wanted to keep it simple because 
I just felt like I had a lot going on at least for me a lot of colors a lot of different things that were kind of catching your eye all over the place so with this area I wanted to keep it a little more calm I didn't want it to be overkill and um, this this is kind of broken but I try to keep it closed the best I can this is a lantern that I got from Pottery Barn probably three years ago and it really ties in like this gold look with all of the other colors I have and then these candles are just the battery powered ones from I believe I got those at Hobby Lobby and then I will link these cutting boards the exact ones that I have they're very similar to the ones they have at Hobby Lobby however these are more thin and long whereas the ones that Hobby Lobby has are um, shorter and thicker and I went ahead and added my own stain to these when you get them they are a raw wood color and so I thought that was nice because you can really customize them to your space I also think these would make awesome gifts if you wanted to go in and maybe like stamp a like last name letter or something like that this would be a really cool way to incorporate like a housewarming gift or something like that and then over here is my coffee bar area and this is always decorated for each season so I have all of the woods some copper some apples some of my Ray Dunn so that is what this area looks like I won't go in too much detail with it because I did talk about this a lot in my first early fall decorating video and not much has changed with this space but I just wanted to show it again briefly so now we'll do a quick little panoramic view of the kitchen and what that looks like and then I will head into our living room so I recently did a makeover video on this space I went in and added some cozy touches here including this a drop cloth curtain we added the curtain rod and that just really completed this space it made it look a lot more finished that wall just kind of looked plain and like it was undone so I've really liked that and then this fireplace I went in this whole thing used to be when we moved in just a plain wall and I hired someone a friend of mine actually to add this faux fireplace here and so she added that these are benches on either side of it and she added the floating shelves which she built herself as well as the mantle she is so talented but um, the inside of the fireplace we had just painted black so I went in recently and added faux brick inside there and it just makes it look so much more realistic. And I know it's plain in there for now, but I have something really fun planned for that area for fall, so stay tuned for that. And then as far as the decor on the shelves go, I really went in and added a lot of very neutral like whites and creams and things like that and glass items in preparation for adding my pumpkins and stuff for fall so again i really just am preparing and trying to make this feel very cozy i love using candlesticks this time of year oh and this tv i get a lot of questions as well so i will link it down below it's an actual tv and when it's off you can set it so it looks like a piece of art and you can change this around so I actually have one plan that I'm gonna be using for fall so that's pretty fun the only thing that's kind of annoying is it picks up a little bit of a pinkish hue on camera and that might just be user error on my part but it's a really cool TV so that'll be linked down below if you want to check it out and then same thing over here these shelves are very neutral I like to use a lot of books and things like that and then this ladder is a vintage find and I just again added some cozy throws and throw pillows just to make it feel extra cozy and added some art to the walls and then this little area I thought was really cute for early fall I added this candle that is from um, Anthropology. it's one of my favorites 
It's a little pricier, but it lasts forever. It's the Volcano scent, and how fitting that it has this copper, really pretty top. And then I just use some of these, I think they're pheasant feathers, but I found them at Michael's. And then this little garland. This is actually three different picks that I found from Joanne. So there's like a red one, an orange one, and a yellow. And then I have a cloche here where I just added this really pretty like twine ball. And originally, right before I filmed this, I had some small white pumpkins in here, which I think looks awesome. I'm definitely gonna add that back for fall. I ended up switching out the pumpkins for these, which actually I think looks great. And I switched them out at the last minute because I really wanted to challenge myself to make my house feel cozy and feel like as much as I can, like harvest and fall without using pumpkins. So I really wanted to stay true to that for this video. So I think that area still looks really cool. And this crate, uh, the crate itself is from Michael's and then I added these little feet onto it just to, I don't know, give it some height so it kind of stood out a bit more. So that is from Michael's. All right, that is the early fall home tour. I hope it gave you guys some inspiration. I know I had asked if you wanted to see an early fall tiered tray. So here is what I came up with. I think it's simple, like I said, it has some pops of color and also just really ties in the fall feeling without actually being like full on pumpkin. So adding in all of the copper elements adding in some of these dried fall florals, apples, you could also use pears. All of these things are going to achieve that cozy fall feeling without using pumpkins, of course candles, anything like that is going to also feel really cozy as well. Hydrangeas is a great floral option for early fall. I liked adding these brown feathers in and also anything kind of like brown, twine, ropey, you know, viney, like those wreaths and things like that. Those are another great way to add early fall to your home. So yeah, just adding cozy elements, throws, pillows, and also how I set everything up for early fall is going to make it really simple when I wanna go in and actually add all the pumpkins and things like that. I'll be able to work it in with all of these items. So that is going to be really nice. And yeah, I have so many good ideas planned. I plan on showing some full on fall pumpkin videos, a lot of DIYs and things like that in the next coming weeks. I also have a couple fun fall related giveaways coming up. So make sure you are subscribed to me here and following me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.